You know, I was really going to start this video off by saying a lot of people have asked me this question on how do I record my videos? But to be quite frank with you guys, no one has really asked. So I took it upon myself to say that no one has asked because that's the truth. And I'm just here to share some information that no one really gives a fuck about. Anyways, in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you guys how I record the gear series for my videos. More specifically, how I actually get the angles on the mannequins that I have using Castle Magic and how you can do it for yourselves if you wanna get cool shots of gear, or maybe you could just elaborate on this and make it 20 times better. Now keep in mind, I'm no genius at uh, house magic or castle magic or whatever. I'm no genius at it, you know? I'm fairly new to it, to it myself. Um, and this whole process took me a few days to complete. So, uh, you know, it's probably not the best. You could probably do a thousand times better than me, but this is just how I get things done. And I just wanted to share it to the community. If you guys don't know what housing magic is, housing magic allows you to do a lot of creative things uh, within Wizard 101, within your castle, your house, you know, moving objects, zooming into objects. It, 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 you could do a lot. You could do a lot with castle magic. Um, and what I'm about to show you is just a bare minimum that you can do. There's a bunch that you can do with castle magic that I don't even know how to get into. But uh, if you guys ever want to wish to start on castle magic, all you'll have to do is go to the spiral map and click on Marley Bone. Once you're in Marleybone, this guy is pretty damn close. Um, you're just gonna you're just gonna keep going straight forward. That's that's really all it is. You know what I mean? That's that's honestly all it is. You're just gonna keep going straight forward, and he's all the way at the end of this little corridor here. Um, there's a guy there that sells a lot of interesting, uh, you know, treasure cards and housing items that you will need in order to do castle magic. And what I'm about to explain to you how to do the mannequin little camera angle, you're gonna need a few of these cards anyway. So I'm about to show you the cards that you'll need to complete the actions that need to be completed. Once you get to this guy, his name is Babaj Bassett. I probably pronounced his name completely wrong. You're gonna go to this guy and there's two things that you're gonna look at. You're gonna look at the housing shop and you're gonna look at the treasure car shop. First, we're gonna look at the housing shop, okay? The housing shop. This is where you can actually get your mannequin. Once you're at your housing shop, there's two things that you will need. First thing you're gonna need, you're gonna need a magic floor button. Uh, you know, you could probably just buy one of these. You don't, I, I use three, but you don't need three. So you would definitely be good with just one of these, honestly. And then the second thing you're going to get is the magic timer. You're going to need a few of these. I'm not sure how many exactly, but a good solid 10 of these you should be fine with. Just a good solid 10 of these, okay? And then the last thing you're going to need is the magic reflector. A good one of these and you should be straight. Once you get that, you're going to go ahead and close out of that. Go to the treasure card shop. And we're gonna get the rotating 45 degree. It doesn't matter if it's counterclockwise or clockwise. You're just gonna get a few of these. I'd say a good 10 should be nice. Once you get a good 10 of the uh, 45 degree turning, you're gonna also wanna pick up an active reflector. And you're also gonna wanna pick up one of these growing objects. Uh, oh, that's the moving one. But one of the growing objects, where is it? It's, it's somewhere. It's, it's somewhere around here where you can grow and grow. And I'm de it's definitely right in my face somewhere. It's right in my face. Here it is. Okay, I'm, I'm completely blind. But you're going to get a few of these as well. I'd say like a nice solid five of these and you should be good. Once you get those, we're going to go ahead and move to a different guy so we can actually get the mannequins. A lot of people don't know where to actually get the mannequins. And I didn't know where to get the mannequins, but I'm going to show you guys right now. So as you see on the map, I'm in the top left-hand corner where this crafting uh, area is. You're going to go here. You're going to talk to the dude over here, Campbell Hudson. And uh, I lied. You're going to talk to the, the female over here. And we're going to go to the furniture section. And we're going to go to the, the other furniture section. <laughs> um, but there's two mannequins here. You have the female mannequin. You have the male mannequin. It doesn't really matter which one you get. But I usually just rock all female characters. So I usually just have the female mannequin. And those are what you're going to need to actually craft this. You're just going to get those recipes. Go to your housing crafting station. Craft it. And you should be straight. And you can also transfer this to other characters. So I'll keep that in mind. You can craft it on one character. Move it to another. And you should be good to go. Once you have all those items, just go back to your house and we can go ahead and set everything up. So this is my house. Uh, it's, a, it's a studio in progress where I am going to be recording a lot of the, uh, you know, Rare Gear series. And this is my setup. I have two mannequins here. One is a male, one is a female. And uh, there's a few buttons on the floor and a lever. This lever pretty much stops the rotation of the mannequin. 
um you know it doesn't you know it, it might take a while for it to actually stop but the purpose of this lever is to stop the rotation of the mannequin nevertheless um you don't really need this you know as you can see it stop you don't really need this so we're not going to be covering how to actually stop the mannequin we're just going to be covering how to grow the mannequin and rotate the mannequin and what these buttons do these buttons allow me to teleport in the air and then i could just take a nice little screenshot or whatever i need of the mannequin once it actually has the gear on these other buttons do pretty much the exact same thing now here's the magic as you can see so i have the mannequin here he's just here right these blue squares up here are directly correlated to the button so if i click on this button and i go to castle magic basically it teleports the nearest player to the target that's another card that i forgot you're gonna have to get that from the card guy the treasure card guy but you're gonna need that um but yeah you're just gonna put the card on this button and then you're gonna select the blue square up there so now every time that i activate this button i'll teleport up here to the blue square and i could take a nice little screenshot and that pretty much repeats on the other two buttons as well now when it comes to the rotation and it comes to the growing we have one of the reflectors and we have three of the squares here the first square grows an object by 25 percent now this repeats so if i go to magic item options you see it repeats so it will it will repeat every one second and it'll grow the object by 25 percent every one second now this one over here does the exact same thing it just doubles the time that it takes to go to the max uh, growth um, otherwise i would have to sit here and wait longer time so i thought it was just easier to have two buttons here you could have three you could have four to grow it even faster but it's, it's really up to you now for the spinning we have a reflector here and this reflector has eight of these turn an object clockwise 45 degrees there's eight of them in there as you can see it goes all the way up to eight and they're all on the uh, mannequin um, now this blue square here activates a reflector and this is pretty much the reflector. So here's how everything works. These two squares right here, they grow the mannequin all the way to its max growth. And then that's pretty much it. Now for the reflection or the rotation, this square here is a repeating square that repeatedly activates this reflector and this reflector is going to repeatedly turn the mannequin 45 degrees every one second i believe it's on one second or there's no time limit but it's just going to rotate the mannequin 45 degrees a bunch of times and it's pretty much never ever ever going to stop now if you do want to add the lever to the situation all the lever does is tells the timer to stop and when the lever is switched on it tells the timer to stop and when the lever is switched off it tells the timer to start and this is the timer so it'll pretty much just turn this off and on and this controls this which will pretty much just turn this off and on and that's pretty much it that's the entire setup in a nutshell you can set this up yourself so you can have you know rotating gear if you want to show off any gear or anything like that or if you want to do your own youtube series of showing off gear you could do a little something something like this and uh have a little bit of fun with it now a lot of people might be asking how do i get my rotating not rotating how, how, how do i get my transparent background on the actual image itself now that is done with reshade if you guys don't know reshade i did a good tutorial a while back on it on wizard 101 link to that video will be in the description if you guys want to learn how to set that up but reshade basically changes the way that your game looks um and inside of this app or inside of this i don't know this this thing on my computer that's affecting wizard 101 inside of that i can have a nice green screen effect so if i press tab here as you can see i have a nice green screen effect on the actual mannequin but we want it on the background so if i open up the uh the little the little what, what do you call this screen thing i don't know what you call it but this little screen thing as you can see i have chroma key right here now if i activate that and i change it from foreground to background boom now we have a transparent background and then i can edit the threshold a little bit so i can actually see the the head of the mannequin just a little bit just a tad and then there we go now we have a rotating mannequin and you can see this timer thing up here i basically just take a picture of it in the timer little option up there pretty much just goes away as you can see and then through this i could go into my editing software whether it be photoshop premiere pro whatever editing software that you want to use and i could pretty much just clear out the green part in the back and keep the rotating mannequin for a transparent video which is really handy so that's just a tip for anyone out there that's a content creator or just want to take transparent pictures of a mannequin or whatever um you could do so you can also do this with your own wizard um you know if i go to selfie mode and selfie camera press tab as you can see the background is out 
And, uh, you know, there's still a little bit of ground there. There's some editing options here. I could turn up the threshold to bring it really close to me. And then there you go. I have a transparent picture of my character. Um, and you could pretty much do this wherever you want, however you want, and make it look really, really nice for a transparent picture. But, yeah, that's pretty much how I got the transparent background on my mannequin. Um, but, yeah, if you guys have any questions about how I do any of this, uh, leave them down in the comments below and I will answer them. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. You guys are amazing, awesome, and beautiful people. And I will see you guys on the next time of my videos. Yeah.